Good morning, students. Today we are going to start a new topic, and the name of this topic is time. We all are familiar with the word time. Our school starts on time. We have our lunch break on time, and we end our school on time. Time is not something that we can see, feel, touch, or taste, but with the help of a clock, we can measure its passage. In one hour, sixty minutes are there. In one hour, sixty minutes are there. A clock always rotates in forward direction. It does not rotate in backward direction. We should understand the value of time and do our work on time and go to school on time. Once time is lost, we cannot get it back. There is a time for everything, everything, and time waits for no man. So, students, in the beginning, I told you with the help of a clock, we can measure time. So, you can see a clock in my hand, and in a clock, how many hands are there? Two hands are there. So, you can see one is the short hand, and another one is the long hand. Here also, you can see. One is the low hand and another one is the short hand. Now, I want to show the time 3 o'clock. See, the short hand is on 3 and the bigger hand is on 12. Exactly on 12. Now, the time is 3 o'clock. Now, the next time I have to show here, o'clock, it means 3 o'clock. Next one is quarter past. So, I have to show you the time 3 15. So the bigger hand is on 3 and the big, smaller hand is a little bit in front of 3. This is a quarter past 3. Yeah, 3 15. Next time I want to show you half past. So the bigger hand is on 6. And the bigger, shorter hand in between 3 and 4. This is your 3.30, yeah, half past 3. Next one is quarter 2. The bigger hand is on 9. And the smaller hand is coming towards 4. It's not exactly on 4, nearer to 4. This is a quarter to 4, yeah. 3.45. So boys, you can see these 12 numbers are written on a clock. From each number, from 12 to 1, 5 minutes, then 1 to 2, 10 minutes, then 3 to 2 to 3, 15 minutes, 3 to 4, 20, 4 to 5, 25, 5 to 6, half an hour, yeah, 30 minutes. 6 to 7, 35, 7 to 8, 40, 8 to 9, 45, 9 to 10, 50, 10 to 11, 55, then 11 to 12 o'clock. This is the way we have to see the time. And I told you in one hour, 60 minutes are there. And one day, that is 12 hours of, hours of their time, and 12 hours of night time, it makes 24 hours in a day. So boys, please learn how to draw clocks in showing different times. So thank you boys.